हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द नाइन्थ चैप्टर पेरीमीटर एरिया एंड वॉल्यूम ए विल टेल वन स्टोरी ऑफ नेहा एंड ब्रिजेश वन डे दे वर प्लान टू गिव ए बर्थडे कार्ड फॉर देयर ग्रैंड मदर एंड हियर इज देयर कार्ड्स हियर इज देयर कार्ड्स फर्स्ट वन इज नेहा कार्ड सेकंड वन इज ब्रिजेश कार्ड they were plan to give birthday card to their grandmother and they made cards like this neha make a card with the shape of rectangle and brijesh make the card with the shape of square and after making this card they were plan to decorate the sides of this shape with this cards with a ribbon they were plan to decorate the cards sides with a, a ribbon let us help them to find out the length of the ribbon that they need our duty is help them to find out the length of the ribbon that they need for decorate these cards how will you find the length of the ribbon that they needed how will you find how will you find the length here we need to find out the length of the sides of this card here we need to find out the length of the sides of the card then only we can find how many length they need for that ribbon so here the first one is a rectangular shape card first we need to find out the length of the sides of the card and second one also we need to find out the total length of the sides that is called a perimeter so today we are going to discuss about perimeter to find out the length of the sides of a shape is called a perimeter perimeter means the total length of sides of a shape total length of the sides of a shape is called a perimeter and today we are going to discuss how to find the perimeter of a rectangle and perimeter of a square first one is first we need to find out the perimeter of this rectangular shaped card neha cards length perimeter neha cards perimeter first we need to find out the neha cards perimeter that is a rectangular shaped card so we need to find out the length of the rectangular shape sorry we need to find out the perimeter of a a rectangle how will you find the perimeter perimeter means the total length of the sides of a shape length total length of the sides of a shape here the sides are ab bc cd and ad that's are the sides of the rectangle so for finding the perimeter perimeter we need to add we need to add the sides length here first one is ab first side is ab plus second side bc plus the second third side cd plus the last side ad here we need to add all the sides ab plus bc plus cd plus ad but we know the sides the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal the opposite sides are equal that means we can write we can that means ab equal dc that means ab equal dc the length of ab and dc are same that means ab is equal to dc and also ad equal bc ab equal the length of this side and this side are equal and this side and this side are equal that means we can write ab equal dc and ad equal bc we replace cd and ad instead of ab and bc that means ab plus bc plus cd means the length of cd and ab are equal so we can write ab instead of cd and bc instead of ad now we got ab plus bc plus ab plus bc that means 2 ab plus 2 bc 2 ab this means 2 ab 
2 into AB plus 2 into BC. From here, we can write 2 into AB plus BC. This means 2 into AB plus BC. This is the perimeter of a rectangle. 2 into length plus breadth. Here we can see AB is the length and BC is the breadth. So the perimeter of a rectangle shape equal 2 into its length plus breadth. This is the formula for find out the perimeter of a rectangle 2 into L plus B 2 into length plus breadth. Perimeter means the total length of the sides of a shape. For finding the total length we need to add the sides. We just add AB, next side BC, next side CD and next side AD. But we know the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So we write AB instead of DC and BC instead of AD. That is the second step. From that we can see it is 2 here we can see 2 AB and 2 BC. We just write that 2 into AB plus 2 into BC. From this one we can write 2 into AB plus 2 into BC. Then I take the 2 outside. 2 is common. So we just take the 2 outside. That is 2 into AB plus BC. This step this is called this step is called distributive property it is called a distributive property this step is called a distributive property when we write 2 into a plus b c equal to 2 a b plus 2 b c that is called a distributive property and the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 into a length plus breadth. You must by heart this formula 2 into length plus breadth. That is the perimeter of a rectangle 2 into length plus breadth. We can write the short form of 2 into L plus B. L represent length and B represent breadth 2 into L plus B. That is it. That is the perimeter of a rectangle that formula we used for find out the perimeter here we can see we need to find out the perimeter of a rectangle for that that means sum of the length of all sides that is called the perimeter for finding the perimeter of a shape we need to add the length of the sides of that shape here we need to add the sides AB plus BC plus CD plus DA. We know ABCD is a rectangle its opposite sides are equal. So we write AB is equal to CD and BC is equal to DA. Now the perimeter of ABCD is equal to AB plus BC plus AB. We write AB instead of CD because AB and CD are equal and we write BC instead of AD. So because they are equal. Now we got AB plus BC plus AB plus BC. That means 2 into AB plus 2 into BC. From that we can write 2 into A plus AB plus BC. That, that is called the distributive property. 2 into A plus 2 into B can also be written as 2 into A plus B. The above property is known as the distributive property of multiplication. That is the distributive property of multiplication. 2 into L plus B. 2, 2 into A plus B is equal to 2 into A plus 2 into B. That is called the distributive property. A, B and B C are the length and breadth of a rectangle. Then the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 into length plus breadth, 2 into L plus B. Now we need to find out the perimeter of a square. First we found the perimeter of a rectangle. The next shape, bridge card shape is square shape. Now we need to find out the 
perimeter of the square. Perimeter of a shape means length, the total length of the sides of that shape. Here we need to find out the total length of the sides. Now the sides are PQ, QR, RS and PS. So it will be for finding the perimeter, we just add the sides PQ plus QR plus RS plus PS. Here it is a square. Square means all the sides are equal. That means that means PQ equal length of PQ, length of QR and length of RS, length of PS are equal. So we can write 4 into PQ. Length of PQ, QR, RS and PS are equal. So we can write PQ instead of QR, RS and PS. That means 4 into PQ. That is equal to 4 into PQ means one side. 4 into side. 4 into side. That is the perimeter of a square. To find out the perimeter of a square, just multiply the side with 4. 4 into side is the perimeter of a square. For finding the perimeter of a square, 4 into side. That is the perimeter of square. Perimeter of a rectangle is 2 into L plus B. 2 into length plus breadth. Here we need to find out the perimeter of a square. That means the length of the sum of the lengths of the all sides. That is equal to PQ plus QR plus RS plus SP. But this is a square. All the sides of square are equal. So we can write PQ equal QR is equal to RS is equal to SP. So perimeter of this square PQ RS is PQ plus PQ plus PQ plus PQ. We write PQ instead of other three sides. That is 4 into PQ. Since PQ is the side of the square PQ RS, we can say that the perimeter of a square equal to 4 into length of a side. 4 into length of a side is perimeter. So you must by heart this formula. 4 into length of a side is the perimeter of a square and the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 into side plus side, 2 into length plus breadth. Now you can find out the length of the ribbon that they need. Find the length of the ribbon required for Neha's card measures 9 cm length and 7 cm in breadth. Here they gave the measurement length and breadth of Neha's card. Neha's card's length is 9 cm and breadth is 7 cm. We need to find out the length of the ribbon that required for Neha's card. That means we need to find out the perimeter for finding the total length of the sides of a shape means we need to find out the perimeter of that shape. Perimeter of this shape is rectangular shape. So we need to find out the perimeter of rectangle that is equal to 2 into length plus breadth. Here length is equal to length is given length equal 9 centimeter and breadth is given that is equal to 7 centimeter. So just put the values length is 9 plus 7 that is equal to 2 into 9 plus 7. First we need to operate the bracket 9 plus 7 is 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 into 2 is 2 into 16. When we got a bracket, first we need to open that bracket. 9 plus 7, 16. 16 into 2 is 32. So the perimeter of that rectangular shape is 32 centimeter. That means 32 centimeter ribbon required for Nega's card. Here we need to find out the perimeter of that rectangle. Length is given 9 centimeter breadth is 7 centimeter. 2 into length plus breadth is perimeter of a rectangle. So 2 into 9 plus 7 that is equal to 2 into 60. Answer is 32 centimeter. And for finding the length of the ribbon that required for Bridget's card, 7 centimeter is the length. Bridget's card's length 
side's length is 7 cm. We need to find out the ribbon, length of the ribbon required for bridges card. How will you find? We need to find out the perimeter. For finding the length of the sides of a shape, we need to find out the perimeter of that shape. Perimeter of square. It is square shape. Perimeter of square is equal to 4 into length of the side. That is equal to 4 into 7 centimeter. It is equal to 28 centimeter. That means 28 centimeter ribbon needed for bridges cut. Perimeter is 4 into length of side, 4 into 7 is 28 centimeter. Now you can discuss, let us try 9.2, sorry 9.1 questions. First question, question number 4. Perimeter of a square is 48 meter and what is the length of its sides? Here they gave the perimeter of a square. Perimeter of a square means the formula is 4 into sides here length of the side not side length of the side perimeter is given that is 48 meter we need to find out the length of the side into length forty eight is equal to four into a number forty eight equal four into dash for into which number is 48 just divide 48 by 4 4 ones are 4 4 twos are 8 answer is 12 so the length of the side is length of the side is length is equal to 12 centimeter just apply the given things in the formula if they gave the perimeter of square is given that is equal to 48 meter that means 48 is equal to 4 into length of the side the length of one side is 48 divided by 4 that is 12 centimeter next question fifth question a 24 meter long wire netting is used as a fence for a rectangular pot if the length of this plot is 7 meter what is its breadth just write the given things here they gave the perimeter perimeter is given that is equal to 24 meter a 24 meter long wire netting is used as a fence for a rectangular plot that means they gave the total length of the plot is given that is the perimeter so perimeter is 24 meter perimeter is 24 meter and then they gave the length length is given length is 7 meter we need to find out the breadth how will you find the breadth we know the equation perimeter equal to perimeter of a rectangle equal to 2 into length plus breadth the given things are perimeter is given it is 24 meter equal 2 into length is given 7 meter plus breadth is not given we need to find out that one 24 equal 2 into a number that's a given thing so 24 divided by 2 equal to that number 7 plus b 7 plus breadth 24 by 2 is equal to 12 12 is equal to 7 plus breadth so breadth is equal to 12 minus 7 that is equal to 5. So the length, sorry, the breadth is 5 centimeter. Once more I will tell. Here we need to find out the breadth. The given things are perimeter and length. Length is 7 meter and the perimeter is 24 meter. We know the equation length of perimeter of a rectangle is 2 into L plus B. Just apply the measurements the values in the equation 24 perimeter is 24 meter equal 2 into 7 plus 7 meter plus breadth we, we need to find out the breadth 24 by 2 we take 2 to here here it is multiplication so here it is 
division 24 divided by 2 is 7 plus bread 24 divided by 2 means 12 12 we call 7 plus breadth so breadth is 12 minus 7 that is 5 centimeter length of the wire used for the netting the fence is equal to 24 meter that means the perimeter perimeter is 24 meter length of the float is 7 meter perimeter is equal to 2 into length plus breadth from the equation we can write 24 equal to 2 into 7 meter plus breadth that means 24 divided by 2 is equal to 7 plus breadth 24 divided by 2 is 12 12 we equal to 7 plus breadth so breadth is equal to 12 minus 7 answer is 5 so today we have discussed perimeter of rectangle and perimeter of square perimeter of rectangle is 2 into length plus breadth 2 into l plus b and perimeter of a square is 4 into length of its sides perimeter means the total length of sides of a shape and here is your homework question let us try 9.1 question number 1 and 9 see you in the next class thank you